once a patient has a diagnosis of head and neck cancer, seeing a, a specialized head and neck surgeon is important because um, you know we've been trained to take care of these patients in a very um, detailed fashion and a very um, multidisciplinary fashion. We have all the experts here at Banner MD Anderson that take care of head and neck cancer, um, a whole team of doctors. Within the head and neck, there are many, many different kinds of cancer that one can have. Um, if you think of it, all the different organs and cells that are in the head and neck, um, all of those are, can possibly get a cancer. Um, typically, we think of oral cavity cancer or larynx cancer, and those are very common cancers of the head and neck. But head and neck surgeons also take care of thyroid cancer, sinus cancer, skin cancers of the head and neck, and salivary gland cancers. Um, so there's a whole multitude of different cancers that we take care of, and our training really um, gives us expertise in all of those things and the um, ability to take care of them in a multidisciplinary fashion. Well, any patient that comes to the head and neck surgery clinic um, is um, evaluated by one of the head and neck surgeons, and that's the way most people come into the head and neck cancer team. Um, once they're evaluated by the surgeon, depending on what um, other information they come with, such as scans or biopsies, additional information may need to be acquired before we can make a full assessment and you know staging. So the most important thing is staging appropriately when the patient comes to see us. Uh, we'll do a full head and neck exam, which often includes a laryngoscope uh, examination in the office. Um, and then we often need to get scans, biopsies, consultations with other physicians. Um, once we have all that information, uh, we go to our head and neck tumor conference, which has all the experts present, the radiation doctors, the medical oncologists, pathology, radiology, and the head and neck surgeons. And then as a group, we uh, review all the information that's available and come up with a treatment plan for that individual patient based on you know not only all their cancer-related information, but considerations about their personal situation, such as their overall health or age or you know medical um, any kind of handicaps or something like that.